imposter that was good looking is cute. <gasps> Hey guys, I am about to go to church. I've been listening to Girls Gotta Eat podcast, trial running a new show. Makeup looks fire. I'm gonna start thinking about bringing my foundation down to my neck. I never usually do that because I feel like there's no need, but sometimes this could be a huge contrast. I'm going to this Nigerian church for the first time because I'm fulfilling my mom's wish once. And I have trauma going to Nigerian churches. And I think if you were Nigerian or African, you would understand. I did bring my um, Urban Planet bag. I'm just coming straight from work. I actually just did a mukbang, so I already ate dinner. So I'm just putting my stuff into my bag. But yeah, I'm coming straight from work. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm scared out of my mind. And I'm all the way north York. The church is right in front of me. <clears throat> hey guys, it's the next day. I'm feeling particularly lonely today. I went to church yesterday and I forgot it was a pastor that was good looking. It's a good looking pastor. And it was kind of revolutionary. It changed my life. So I'm really did change my life so i'm gonna go tonight i don't have anything planned but the only thing is it's in north york i'm in niagara so it's an hour and a half drive we're praying there's no traffic but what's been really been helping is podcasts and i love 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 podcasts oh i crave everybody who has like a, a nice car with no problems my car with my bumper i feel like in august i feel like that's when i'm gonna have money again so and i can fix my bumper but let me tell you that it's expensive and finding auto parts, it's really, really hard. But this is the podcast that I just found. I heard from Rachel Southard. Oh, Ray, Rachel Southard. It's called The Divine Intervention if you're pre-med as well. In non-traditional, traditional pre-med, this is what I've been, I just started listening. You, know, you look great, but I started to think about it, which just goes to show you, like I started to notice these lines in my 11s. Mm -hmm. And I I'm trying to think because I looked guys it's monday i found the bronzer that literally changed my life <gasps> my lululemon bag finally freaking came in this is the bag that everybody has i got the abercrombie um crossover bag I, i've been loving crossover bag i got a couple of packages i'm guessing from paxson which i'll show you guys later oh my god i don't know i have to go to church again today i don't know if i should because i actually have a lot of work to do oh i think you need to tighten it so this is what the bag looks like crossover bag <sighs> okay so okay so i this looks so cute i like to lure it my abercrombie bag is actually looking way better right now what do we think we like, we love. There is a good dupe for this. The Urban Planet has a really, no, Primer has a really good uh, dupe for this bag. And it has more pockets, but it's, I have it, it is good too. I sometimes use that for my hot girl walk. It's fine. It's not revolutionary. It's not that amazing. Abercrombie is way better. a very weird angle but this is working hello i'm in boston again a few things planned for this weekend i have to go pick up my brothers at walmart i suppose i get a, i got this phone mount but it is phone mount it looks like it's not sticking on my sister's dash on the car i supposed to have gone to florida with my sister this weekend but there was drama around that and i felt like it was better for me to stay so i stayed in boston instead we're going to be making smash burgers for dinner some fries i went to go do groceries and now i want to go pick them up we were supposed to go to the movies tonight i don't know if that's still happening i personally am tired i supposed to have worked out i feel bloated i didn't work out today i had a headache it was it's too hot so i'll probably i'm no i'm definitely going to go work out tomorrow morning and do a really good strength training workout which i haven't done in, in about a week and a half which is crazy so that's what we're doing i'm in lynn in is another part of, of boston and i was supposed to i wanted to go get celsius he y'all know I, you y'all know how much i love my celsius but they only sell this this type of celsius but the celsius heat is bigger and it's just better in terms of giving me energy guys when mobile if you are traveling outside of canada do not get 
wind mobile i don't know what it is but they they are thieves they don't know what the world oh it's only 30 minutes 31 minutes away they don't know what in the world they're doing in terms of providing their customers with international service for a cheaper price <laughs> to go to the beach this is the bikini that i'm wearing i'm wearing a sheen bikini sorry for the lighting the lighting is horrible because i'm in my sister's bedroom until now your girl's looking cute i didn't think it would be itty bitty i thought it would fit me i guess i got a size too small just wanted to show you guys how i prep my body for the beach my for my knees i like to put something on my knees because they're my knees are just darker than the rest of my body i love my body again copacabana bronze glow oil this does transfer like that that's what it looks like it's pretty glowy i'm just putting it on my knees the next thing i like to put on is the fancy body glow i personally love this but this does transfer onto your clothes just a bit. I got it in two shades. If you're wondering what the shades are, these are spice and nutmeg. And when I put it all over my knees. Now to help set everything, what I like to do, I like to spray Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Ah, I love this product. This is definitely transfer proof. This would not transfer onto your clothes. This is the Vita Laborata. I use the shade um dark oh my god they did package it. i used to use this when they when it was super popular a few years ago but i tried it though it was it was it was not transfer proof so it was transferred over my clothes but i think they redid the formula and the packaging and this is the bomb.com so so i do tan my legs and i do use tan drops um from sephora i'll show you guys later and after i do that then i put this two coats of this on my legs on my arms as you can see there are two shades it's not a huge thing but i just like it when it's just seamless and i just i just feel good when it just is a bit more seamless so i don't put a i don't put a lot of it i just put it on the side that's a bit lighter and i just try to massage that in as best as i can so you can use any body oil i just happen to have this and i brought it along because it's a mini miniature size it is this is a bougie body oil this is what i'm using today this is the augustus a batter um body oil it is with tfc8 and it helps with repairing the skin and things like that so sometimes once in a while i like to use it i like to use this on my back i don't have any problem issues but it's like just for even even skin tone and stuff like that so i am addressing the elephant in the room which is my elbows which has been the vein of my existence so i really just put this everywhere again i just happen to have these sunscreens sunscreen um with me right now so this is the black girl sunscreen in spf 30 it is a lotion which i love this is what i also put on my face before i put on my makeup fyi
I'm dead ass at Carson Beach right now. Later tonight? Yeah. All right, all right, bet. I got bet. Got you. Thank you. See you. Where are you trying to meet your friend at? Wait, I'm talking. So, where, um, what are you doing with your friend? Explain to the people. Kind of boring. Okay. How can a beach be boring? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Damn. You're single, Josh? Huh? Oh shit, you got it. Okay. Bye guys. Hello everyone. We are heading to the movie theaters to watch Thor. Um, when you get Chipotle first, you get Chipotle. I always eat popcorn. Y'all know I'm obsessed about popcorn. That's it. This is what I'm wearing. Still like the beach outfit. My hair looks crazy, but it doesn't even matter because I don't care. I should care. Oh, oh it's okay. Uh, okay. It's the next day. Um, I got my, you know, my favorite Dunkin' Donuts drink right now. If you don't know, watch my last vlog. It's not as sweet today. I think they put, and I just got one donut. It's incredibly hot. And also, yeah, so the movie that we went to go see yesterday was Thor. I'll talk about it later. Right now, though, we have to go to Ulta. I, we have to go and exchange something. So I'm gonna go by a nearby Ulta and go and do that. My body's aching from head to toe probably telling me that I'm tired and I should go take a relax. I miss the mini Tim, mini um, glazed donuts from Duncan. Mm. Yeah, but today's kind of relaxed day. I wouldn't do much, I'm not, not doing much today. Tomorrow's gonna be exciting. We're going to Quincy Market. bought some things from Paxson. Is it I think it's an American website and I got it ordered to my um the address here in the United States because the duty, the shipping and duties and all that would be very expensive. So, oh, I got a headband which I might wear today. It's kind of velvety. As you can see, it's kind of velvety. And this was 10 US dollars. Oh, not a green corset. It's kind of like a green crop top, as you can see. It is a bit more cropped. And this is the fabric of it. So it's actually much darker than what you're seeing on camera, which might be great for really, really hot days. Okay, so this is way too short. Way too small, sorry. But I think it may still be cut. I don't know where I would even wear this. Look at how, like, this is supposed to be a halter top. It has a string at the top and then it has a really nice embellishment at the back. This could be a really great for the music festival in Quebec that I'm going to. So I don't really know if I actually would wear this, but if I were to wear this, it would be with a black skirt, maybe till dinner. Oh, I got the same thing, but in brown. Uh, too small, too small, I should've got a medium. Wait, I, I, actually, I think this one's a medium. This, yeah, this one's a medium. So this is the brown color. Again, a bit more darker than what you guys are seeing it as. But if I were to wear it like this, as you can see. Oh, wear this, see this, like that. Again, really nice, really cute. I got the LAH Petite Peplum Tank. I got the LAH Dainty Chain Halter in black and then the LH Dainty Chain Halter in brown. I've never heard of this before, but it is, it is owned by a black woman. So we love that. We love our melanin owned businesses. So we're gonna try this and I swatched it on my hands and it looked beautiful. So I'm gonna try it today and I'll show you guys. Um, and I got a couple of swatches of some Fenty Skin Foundation. I really don't like uh, for some reason. 
Fenty foundations, they just oxidize so much darker than they are advertised to be. Now you guys know. <laughs> and I'll see you guys after I take a shower. And I'm not gonna do anything of worth or value in life moving forward at the end of this deal. And, uh,